The governmental public health workforce is one of the most essential elements in creating the healthiest nation. But how do we make sure we have a strong workforce? Brian Castrucci, president of the De Beaumont Foundation, joins us here in studio to discuss. Thanks for your time this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So one of the things that the pandemic really highlighted was how under-resourced the public health workforce really is. What do you think are some of the key things that the pandemic showed we need help with? Well, the pandemic shows that we have to get the workforce stronger and better and quickly. We already have an 80,000 person deficit in our workforce. We found that out with our staffing up report. And we know that one out of four people in the workforce now are looking to leave in the next year. So this is a perfect storm. And if we don't do something, we're gonna suffer the consequences. So what is it that you're looking for when it comes to creating this strong workforce that obviously we need a lot more bodies in? We need more bodies, but we need we need them well resourced. We need to have loan repayment. We need to have a better better skills. We need to train our workforce better. If you don't come out of this pandemic thinking we need really good communication skills, then you you were asleep through the whole thing. We didn't we did not communicate as effectively as we needed to. I'm not gonna be a public health apologist here. There was a lot of things that we did wrong in this pandemic. We better get it right before the next time it's a lot worse. You know, these public health workforces from city to city, state to state, they vary in size, they vary in the resources that they're given. How or what can we do, I guess, to engage the entire workforce? Public health is a team sport. It's not just your health department. It's your businesses, it's your faith community, it's healthcare, it's everyone. And so regardless of, of what the size of your health department is or how well resourced you are, you got to find the assets that you have and maximize them. There's a lot you can do with, you know, $5 and some friends, where in other communities they don't have some of the relationships that we have in smaller communities. So leverage your assets. Don't just focus on why you can't do something. Figure out why you can. Okay, we are celebrating the 150th anniversary of APHA. In your opinion, uh, what do you think the APHA's impact is? What are some of the strengths? What are maybe some of the things we could work on looking ahead? So when you look at the membership organization landscape in public health, we often fall back into our silos. APHA is the, is the cauldron. It's a place that we all can mix and mingle in and figure out how we work together across our different silos. This is the one place where you can have a governmental public health person talking to a business leader and then engaging a nonprofit executive. That's that's going to happen at APHA and that's why it's important. All right, Brian, thanks so much for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you.